What's the shortest payload to pop an alert here? We can control what script to import, so all we need to do is host an external JavaScript file on a short domain. Now the problem comes down to how short can a domain be? Short domains can be quite costly. You can get a two-letter domain for a couple hundred dollars and it will take five characters in total. If budget is not your concern, you can get a one-letter domain. Here, 6.ie costs $3,200 and it will only take four characters in total. This video is sponsored by Integrity. More on that later. Let's step back a bit. Do we have to use letters for a domain? Ever since the introduction of internationalized domain, it has been possible to use non-English characters like Japanese and Russian. These domains, for example, take a total of four characters, but it would only cost less than a hundred dollars instead of a couple thousands. Can we do better than four characters? It seems we can't squeeze more spaces for the domain name unless there isn't a domain name at all. So let's focus on the suffix instead. There are many variations of referring to different domain parts. I will use domain name to refer to everything before the dot and top level domains or TLD to refer to everything after the dot for the rest of the video. For a standard TLD, the shortest you can get are country code TLD. These represent countries and are mostly two characters, like .ac, which is Ascension Island. There are also non-English TLD, but the best I could find still take two characters. When you type a domain with uppercase letters in the address bar, it will get converted to lowercase. It makes sense because they are the same letters. But did you know non-English letters also have different cases? German, for example, has this letter when written in uppercase is SS. When we type it in the address bar, it simply gets converted into SS. We can get a very short domain using this trick. Say, a Russian character followed by a dot and this SS character. Ta-da! We get a three-character domain. The fun doesn't stop here. There are characters that are converted for other reasons. In the early days, computers operated in text mode. Chinese and English characters have different widths, so they may look terrible when being displayed together. To solve this, full-width characters were invented. There are English alphabets and symbols but slightly bigger. Browsers convert them automatically because some input methods may only be able to type full-width characters. You can use full-width characters to bypass blacklist-based URL validation. If an internal IP address is blocked for SSRF, you may use a full-width character equivalent. You can even mix other techniques, like decimal IP format. The Internationalized Domain Standard, IDNA, provides a mapping table that instructs how browsers and HTTP clients should convert each character. This part, for example, maps uppercase letters to lowercase letters. However, each browser follows different versions of this list. For example, it used to be possible to get a two-character domain in old Firefox with this character that is mapped to 14 and a dot. Then we just need another character that is mapped to a valid TLD. This is the origin of the famous XSS domain 14.rs. It is no longer possible to have a two-character domain like this anymore because this character is marked invalid for mapping in later versions of Unicode. I've compiled a list for how each browser maps each character. You can use this list to make your very own short domain or SSRF bypass. Link in the description below. Oh, by the way, did you remember in the beginning of the video I said you can't squeeze more spaces for the domain name? Actually, you can. It is totally possible to have a domain that only consists of the TLD. Take a look at this domain. It's only a TLD with a trailing dot. Imagine if there was a character that is mapped to AI and you had possession of this TLD, you would have a two-character domain working across all browsers. In Mac and iOS, you can even omit the trailing dot for such domain, depending on your DNS settings. Try signing up Integrity with this weird-looking link in the description. 
They recently partnered with Red Bull and launched a very cool back bounty program that pays out Red Bull. See if you can apply techniques mentioned in this video on the target.